Well, on a different topic, Saudi Arabia is using one of its terrorist rehab centers to recruit and train jihadists. That is according to testimony from a prisoner at Guantanamo Bay. A former Al-Qaeda member of Saudi origin, he made the claim to the prison's parole board when explaining his refusal to enroll in Riyadh's de-radicalization program. Now, the center is named after the Saudi crown prince and is meant to help former jihadists abandon their ruthless tendencies in a resort-style setting with pools and palm trees galore. Dozens of Guantanamo detainees have been enrolled in the program. They are provided with private apartments and gourmet meals at the centre. And they can enjoy activities such as volleyball, table tennis or art therapy. But often, the Guantanamo inmate has said, prisoners are actually recruited and sent to fight against Shiite groups in neighbouring Yemen and Syria. There is a strong, externally a strong de-radicalization program. But make no mistake, underneath there is a hidden radicalization program. It's well hidden, way stronger in magnitude, broader in financing, and in, in all that. When they release you, they want to make sure that they've got you to fight their jihad in their regions and in the US. They need a jihadist, but they want you to be a compliant terrorist. Well, the Rehabilitation Center, for its part, admits that one in five of its graduates returns to extremist activities. But according to the Saudi Interior Ministry, there is an aftercare program to help them achieve complete reintegration into society. Well, we spoke to Michael Springman. He's the former head of the American Visa Bureau in Saudi Arabia. He believes that the program is just the ploy to keep Washington calm. You don't change somebody's mindset from being a mass murderer by having him play ping pong. I think that this whole thing is, is just absolute nonsense. And the Saudis are doing this to give the impression that they are doing something, which is always good for the American mind. And uh, the fact that they're, they're engaged in terrorism around the world, uh, whether it's in Syria or in Libya, uh, or in what used to be Yugoslavia, it's, uh, it's the same thing. Who's going to check? Who's going to come from the United States to go over there? Who in the United States is fluent in Arabic? Who can talk to the right people in there? For the ordinary foreign service officer, of which there were damn few, uh, you never got to deal with anybody in, in any position in the Saudi government. A leading dictionary has named its word of the year. And unsurprisingly, it's not happiness or optimism. Find out what it is right after this.